Well, hello there, YouTube. And welcome to a windy 43 degree Monday, the 13th, 14th? I don't know. Of March. I think it's 14th. The moment, it's not raining, but I think it's supposed to. Old Kai Kai out there taking advantage of all the greeneries out there. You know, it's 43 and the wind's blowing. It's very comfortable. I like it when it ain't raining in the morning. It's a nice cozy feeling to it. Like welcomes you to the day. <laughs> Let's roll out. We got trains. We got debris. We got trains. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Ship out there in the background. Welcome to the day, Mama. Oh, Mama, it's that dead gum Monday done slipped back around on us again. It did. That son of a gun. Stop your little sucker. <laughs> Holy moly. Mm -hmm. well, Mama? Yes, I Let's go on in and make this thing happen. How about that? Sounds good. All righty. All right. You have yourself a wonderful day, and I'll Thank see you as the day goes on. All right. Good. All righty. <laughs> Love, Love see you. you. Bye. Love you. The uh, RTS with the um, spark plugs, battery, and the battery support that was all jankied up. She's all nice and fresh. That support came in at the end of the day on Friday, so almost got it done. I don't know whatever happened to his left. Um, Back in the day when the 13s came out, there was a deal. If you had a 10 through 12, there was a promo thing from BRP um, that they would give you that panel, quick access panel and quick access screen. Made it easier to do the oil change on it. But that made that a, a loose piece. And uh, she's gone. Some people left them out because the the twins never had the cage on the right hand side and that drove people nuts who knows she's pretty blue isn't she all right i got another spider i gotta work on right quick and then i'll i'll get this thing out and hopefully take a test ride before it rains holy moly where'd it go oh uh, it reminded me this is the one <laughs> with the uh, park brake cable issue as well. That works nice and smoothly with that nice fresh cable in there. That was a good looking blue, those spiders. The blue ones and the red ones, man, they were crazy popular in the day. Got things even pretty out here in the cloudy, uh, cloudy skies. Yeah, I'll make it around the block before I get wet, huh? Look at that, the park brake where it's supposed to be. <laughs> there ain't no supposed to be that's just the way they were the longest all right i'll be right back and we're rolling see me till the last second about snapped his neck off there who expects a spider to be ripping around the corner mm. feels so good to ride except for this brick hard seat that I feel like I'm gonna slide off in the turns so you know that I was talking about the shock being springy, but there's no leaks, no nothing. It's a uh, seems to perform just fine. I'm not getting the the boing boing boing. Maybe it's just sat for so long. Man, I don't know how long it sat. Obviously, it sat a while. But she's happy now. It's only got. 6,200 miles on it. Man, that's young for one of these. 
<laughs> the old spiders. Just in one of those super chill moods for some reason. Man, and people hoard it in there. What's crazy is I think those things you buy the condo duplex, whatever. I don't know about that stuff, but I can imagine paying that much money and basically you're living in an apartment. But to each their own, I reckon. Our younger days Kelly and I sure did that when we uh, we well actually we moved in together up at Silver Lake at my parents house but that was hard for her because uh, yeah she was yeah she was literally still going to school so she was having to drive from Silver Lake Washington and I've shown you Silver Lake that's up on Spirit Lake Highway going towards Mount St. Helens so she had to drive all the way into Kelso to go to school. So not that gas was expensive or anything, but it was just inconvenient. So we ended up getting this little place in Longview, an apartment, well, our very first apartment right away. What a nightmare. We're young, you know, play music loud, dancing and catting around and stuff making all kinds of noise and always getting the old broomstick handle on the roof we were upstairs and then uh york honda and yamaha closed and uh the next day i got hired they closed on february 1st was the official close day and um i told you about the night before the owner's dad which i guess was mainly the owner he bought it for his son they whatever but anyway uh <laughs> i was down there working on my cbx i was doing a winter time uh road racing project of rebuilding the motor i kept getting some uh false neutrals pulled it down and i rounded off some engagement dogs on the gears so thought while i'm in there i'll go ahead and freshen up the rings and anyway i was down there working on that thing and yeah, it's like the middle of the night. Kelly's here with me, and all of a sudden I hear this cling, 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 this rattling of a leash. And uh, it was the owner's dad in his cocker spaniel. He must have drove by, he's seen us there, and he walked in. And he goes, "What are you doing?" I said, "I'm rebuilding my C my CBX for uh, for the winter time for you know racing season next year or this coming year." And he goes, he looks around, he goes, is this all yours? I go, yeah, those motorcycles over there and all these tools and everything. And he goes, anything you own down here, you need to get out tonight. I go, pardon me? You need to get it out tonight. Everything. So <laughs> Kelly and I, I had a, a big old sh Chevrolet Bov Boville, whatever that thing was called, great big old one ton. It was actually a people hauler van. Held like 12 people or something like that, but took the seats out, left the first seat behind the driver's seats back, and it was all metal and clamped to the floor. And uh, it was strong enough, it would I could get three uh, full size road race bikes in there. Anyway, so uh, Kelly. And they were swapping between vehicles uh, the old green truck the old 77 toyota that and that van we loaded everything up freaked my mom out because it was like one o'clock in the morning or 1 30 whatever when i show up because i had no uh, i just had a carport at the apartment kelly and i were living in so i said mom i need to <laughs> i need to drop off some motorcycles what the heck's going on so i'm not not sure but Glenn told me I need to get everything out tonight and he goes trust me don't make a mistake with this 
tomorrow you won't have access to it. So the next morning, you know, I get up and I drive to work and there's uh, the owner, his son, I think some lawyer people or whatever, we're all standing at the back of the building and we had one chance to run through. I was a parts manager, so uh, I left, I forgot about stuff in my desk, so I had one chance to go through and scrounge out stuff. I and I don't think there's much personal stuff, it was just pens and calculators. There's no computers back then. And uh, anyway, that was the end of it. The very next day, on February 2nd, I went to Portland Honda and I met Patrick O'Malley. This dude, he, you look up Irishman and Patrick O'Malley's face shows up. If that boy was an Irish, there's no such thing as an Irish person. Rosy red cheeks, love that guy. Became literally best friends with him. And the crazy thing was, he was a year older than my dad. All the rides we went on, oh, phenomenal guy. And uh, anyway, he, uh, he hired me pretty much on the spot, but I had to start on the 16th, and I do that half a month split. We, <laughs> to this day, you still do that. When you get hired here, you're either going to start on the 1st or the 16th. But uh, anyway, the rest is history. Got a little apartment there just right up the street, literally a block away from Portland Honda. Um, the crazy thing is, is Kelly found it. So I drove back and forth. That was those uh, snow drives I told you about riding my 750 Interceptor, my um, CBX back and forth to work. My uh, my first my first day there, I rode my. Uh, CB 1100F to work and it was sitting out out front Another guy I became close friends with was uh, uh, The sales manager there and he comes in he goes who the F Rode that motorcycle here There's just a clean parking lot. There's just some tire tracks where cars came in and a uh, uh, parked and employees came in and parked and there's just one track of snow going to where the motorcycle parking area was <laughs> so I got a whole bunch of high fives and we've been friends ever since <laughs> cool stuff but anyway uh, one day Kelly shows up at work I was uh, service administer administrator so I was in the office there and Kelly comes walking in and uh, she goes I go what are you doing she goes I'm taking you home so you don't have to ride the motorcycle today and uh, so I go out and she drove that Chevy van I go good lord woman you spent the money driving that thing down here to get me well get in I'll show you I'll drive you so we leave Inslee was this little alley behind the store and uh, she drives me up Inslee takes a ride on 17th and then before we get to McLaughlin she takes a ride in this car I said, what are you doing she goes I'm taking you home her and one of her high school friends literally moved us out of that apartment in Longview that's some pretty cool stuff oh, Kelly my hero that was so nice the next morning to get up, walk out the door, and just walk down the street to work. We were there for, we were there until Portland Honda ended up closing. That was a weird time. Motorcycles shops were coming and going. But it was number one dealer service and sales for three years in a row. And the owner, you know, he owned a bunch of insurance companies back east. Like it, he insured like skyscrapers and stuff, you know, so he just crazy money. But he was fascinated with the Northwest, so he came up to the Northwest and uh, bought that shop. Never even rode a motorcycle. I taught him how to ride a motorcycle on a VFR 700F. 
Remember the white and gold colored? It was like the gentleman's <laughs> um, VFR. Anyway, I taught him how to ride a motorcycle on that motorcycle. Never rode a motorcycle in his entire life. Anyway, his analyst told him that uh, the motorcycle business is going to get way worse before it gets better. Which, in fact, it ultimately did not at that time. His analysts were wrong. So he sold it. And he wouldn't, didn't sell it. He closed it down. He said, I want to leave number one. Am I not pushing the button here? He goes, I want to leave here number one. So I'm not going to sell it. Well, Honda still has this thing. There's only so many dealers that can be within a 25 mile radius. And, um... He just shut it down. That was it. Then I went to work for St. John's Honda. And then Columbia River Honda and Suzuki over in St. Helens, Oregon. Then I uh, got tired of all that riffraff. And uh, went to work for myself. Started Smokes Motorcycle Service. Did that for five years. Literally the best time of my life. But at the same time, the scariest time. <laughs> Man, was I busy. All right, let's get to this one here. So I did my first motor vlog in quite some time and I did it on this 2015 RTS, the spouse of the sea to sky, so to speak, as in people and, <laughs> and spiders. That looks pretty cool though. Facing towards the door, they're going, we're ready to leave this establishment. We need to go be set free. God almighty. Well, hello there, YouTube. Um, look out back there. Daylight out there. There is light out there. Barely daylight because, well, one, it's, we're about, yeah. what, 25 minutes from sunset, pour down, I mean, absolutely pour down rain. Yeah. And, um, yeah, it makes it look dark outside, even though we're that far from sunset. <laughs> it would be beautiful. I don't yeah. think it ever got nice today, did it? No, it was overcast and cloudy. Yeah. Just did the drizzly rain on and off all day. Yeah, sometimes cool. light, sometimes not. One of them days. I don't know. I, I doubt I'll get it done tonight. I'll try, but I actually did a moto vlog side. Is that Madison? I think that's Madison. That is a sorrowful sound. She goes, Mom, Dad, it's been miserable out here. She goes, let me I'm all scraggly, house. let me inside. I know, my little scraggle muffin. Anyway, on that, we're going to bounce. we got food in the back, stop for gas, got food. Gas yeah. is not going up. I mean, it's high, but it's wood. not going up yeah. any higher, so. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And you guys have an amazing Tuesday or Wednesday. Heck yeah. And I got a frog in my throat. Do you? <laughs> I'm trying to say it with alcohol. <laughs> I know. Going into coffee bit. And then yes, it's one of those. All right. We'll see you guys in the morning. We'll see you then. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.